Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dylan Richardson's back to do another dip video. Um, gonna be reviewing a dip today. I'm, I have done this, but it was like more of a my challenge video. So, um, I'm actually gonna be reviewing some um, Copenhagen Wintergreen pouches. Um, as y'all know, I'm not a real big fan of the pouches. So, uh, yeah. Also, another thing. My dip tower is like fucking getting huge. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I hope y'all can. Anyways, it's getting fucking huge. Starting to run out of room for fucking cans and shit. But, um, yeah, I guess some other shit to talk about. Um, our fucking night was it all Friday night. Um,. And Saturday morning, oh my god, I'll fucking fill y'all in here in a minute, but um, let's do this review, and I'm gonna review these, and then I'm probably gonna put a pinch of my buddy Kevin hanging in a long cut in, so uh, yeah, let's get this video started, no, you don't have to pack your pouches, but I do, mostly because these have been in the refrigerator for like fucking ever, oh my god. They've all got. I'm gonna put. Fuck it, let's do three. All right. Coming to hang in one of green pouches. So, uh, let's dip these and let's see how it goes. Spitting in the black mud jug, cause um. My other one is actually full. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and these are really fucking cold. I've had them in the fucking refrigerator since I did my, uh, one video of the five cans of these. Um, let's go ahead and take care of some shout outs, okay? Uh, Sammy C314, go ahead and give him a big shout out. Um, who else do I got? Oh, big shout out to JD Hewitt. Um, Mud Jug One, of course. Uh, Outlaw Dipper. Um, Cole Younger. I think that's right. I think that's how you say it. But a shout out to him. Um, I think that's it. I want to say. Oh, Snuffhead Dipper. Big shout out to him. Um, man, I've still not went and got your stokers. I've been broke as fuck. And, uh, I don't know how cold it is in, um, California, but, um, I know here in Texas, it's like 34 degrees, and my job is I mow, so when it's cold and rainy and wet, we don't mow because it fucks the mowers and the grass and all that up and it looks like shit when it dries. So, with that being said, I have no money coming in right now. Um, I actually spent $200 in two days just in gas for my truck. Now, I'm sure y'all are thinking, holy shit, that's a lot for gas, blah, 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 blah. Well, those of you who don't know, I drive a one ton extended cab long bed uh, Chevrolet um, 88 model with the 454 big block in it and it's getting like I want to say anywhere from 7 to 8 miles a gallon and uh, yeah it's just not very good so I mean it'll pull the fucking house down pull the world behind it whatever the fuck you want to pull but on gas mileage, that motherfucker sucks. So, uh, I'm thinking about going to a, uh, probably a 2001, uh, 1500, um, Silverado, four-wheel drive, you know. Because I was really wanting about a 94 model, 1500, four-wheel drive, y'all, you know, all that. But, I mean, they're right at four grand, and so is a 2001 which is newer and most likely not going to have as many problems as an older model. So, 
Yeah. Um, now since these pouches have been sitting in for a while, um, they're pretty good. I mean, sell-by date on them is November 10th, 2013, they've been in the refrigerator, so, and they're still fucking good. Um, they got a real good flavor to them. I mean, they're not like most pouches, they're, they're real wet moist so they're pretty good um, for pouches I'll probably give them a 1 out of 10 I'm gonna give I'll give them probably the seven and a half eight I mean they're pretty good for a pouch so they're not too too bad Anyways, I may just actually leave these in because they ain't too bad. Nah, I'm just fucking y'all. I ain't eating them. But, fuck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Fuck me. I'm gonna have to go open another new can today. Shit. I got like that much left. It's enough for a pinch. Mmm. Gotta get a ball. Got to. Mmm. 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 I ain't no empty can. Okay, so what happened Friday night? Okay, well, we were supposed to go to Burleson to go to this chick's, like, birthday party and shit. It was me and Jacob. Well, um, we got over there too late. We got over there at, like, 7, and they were already, like, shit-faced. Well, they live in an apartment complex, so we was trying to find the fucking, um, apartment they were in. Well... Girls already don't give good directions, and when they're drunk, they really don't give good directions. So, um, we got over there. We're in my truck. We had to drive to Fort Worth. Well, it's a good 30-minute drive. So, we got over there, and uh, we ended up just saying, fuck it. So, we pulled on a gas station, and I had two gallons of vodka in the truck. Because, you know, I mean, I was going to get shit-faced. Hang out, fucking drink, pass out. Well, uh, that didn't happen, so we just went ahead and stopped in the store. I grabbed a 7-Up, and Jacob grabbed a Dr. Pepper, and uh, we grabbed a couple of cups with some ice in them. Well, uh, I don't want to hear no shit for this, because I'm 16, and I was drinking and driving. I'm going to admit it, but I wasn't, like, plastered. I was sipping. Um, so, for y'all in the North Texas area, we, uh, we was in Crowley, and we started drinking in Crowley, and, uh, Jacob's already shit-faced by the time we get back to Godly, because, I mean, he's fucking just throwing them back, and I'm just sitting there sipping, I'm still in my first cup. So, we get to Godly, I call my stepmom, and I'm like, Hey, uh, you care if we come out and drink for a little bit? And she was like, um, yeah, I mean, y'all can't stay, but y'all can come out here and drink a little bit. And I was like, all right. So I started drinking pretty heavy, and I finished one like this. And, uh, 7-Up and Vodka Mix. So we get out there, and I'm feeling a pretty good drunk. Really not drunk yet, but... I got a pretty damn good buzz going. So we get out there. And, uh, she was like, you ain't drinking, are you? And I was like, no, not yet. Well, she asked to take a drink out of my cup, and she smelled them and smelled the vodka in it. So we got detained for 30 fucking minutes, which killed my whole fucking butt. She wouldn't let me have my fucking drink back. So after that 30 minutes, um, 
apparently we like started drinking pretty heavy and we was like shit faced well apparently we like told her we was gonna go whoop somebody's ass and we like piled in the truck took off and left and we came back like an hour and a half two hours later <laughs> and uh I was like crying about my hand hurting and shit well uh after that we got back in the truck and then we came to my grandma's and then uh, we started drinking here and shit got wild pretty got wild here pretty fucking quick because we got my uh, little brother Cade drunk so uh yeah and then um but yeah my hand was all fucking tore up and shit I mean I don't know if y'all can see that but apparently fought somebody I don't know this one's not so bad I got a but this one right here is pretty fucking bad. I don't know who the fuck we fought or anything, but I know I didn't get my ass whooped because, I mean, the only thing that's hurting on me is my fucking hand. And uh, I asked Jacob about it, and I was like, dude, do you know what the fuck we did? And he was like, no. And I was like, well, I know we went out to Cindy's. And he was like, we went to Cindy's? And I was like, oh, fuck. So I really don't know what the hell we did, but it was a good-ass night, and... I feel real sorry for the guy that I punched or beat the fuck out of. Because I really don't know who it was um, or where we went. I just know we got back here to my grandma's and uh, like we went in, made us something to eat, and then waited until my grandma went to sleep and then started drinking pretty fucking heavy here. And we were shit-faced, and I don't remember anything after that. I remember texting this one chick and uh, watching a movie. And after that, I don't remember shit. Anyways, that was what our Friday night and Saturday morning consisted of. We still don't know what the fuck we did. But, uh, yeah, it was crazy as fuck. Anyways, um... Oh shit, there's my cousin. The fuck is he doing? No, no, he's got a goat trailer. So I don't know. I guess he's going back to his house, I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, this was a short little review. Just to fill y'all in and some shout outs and shit like that. Um, all that. Um, Snuffhead Dipper, I'll, when I get paid, I'll go buy you the tub of the Stoker's Mint that you wanted. Um, I don't know when that will be. Because I know I owe my grandma like $25. Because I borrowed $25 from her. Um, I usually get paid like 40 bucks. Um... 40 to 80 bucks, depending on if I do it all myself or not, so, uh, yeah, but I'll try to get that out to you as soon as I can, um, all that, so, yeah, that's the end for this video, uh, hope y'all enjoyed, y'all keep subscribing, I've got 119 subscribers right now, um, y'all go check those guys' videos out that I told y'all about, um, Oh, another shout out that I forgot. Redneck Canadian. He makes some good videos, so y'all go check him out too. Like I said, I've been trying to keep my videos um, about 15 minutes long and all that because they upload faster. So, uh, yep. Hope y'all have a good Thanksgiving. Um, all that good shit. Uh, I'm going to go find me something to eat real quick because I'm starving. So, um, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, Y'all keep watching, subscribe, tell everybody about me, all that good shit. So, later guys.